Do you want to learn oriental brush painting? Hi, I'm Darlene Kaplan, international award winning artist, instructor. Um, I've been displaying my art and teaching for well over 40 years. Uh, today's subject is going to be lesson four, uh, part two. And last week we did the goldfinch sitting on a comb flower. This week I'm going to uh, show you how to put the leaves in and the stem. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. And let's get to it. These are some of the colors that I'm going to be using today. It's going to be the yellows, uh, the different color greens, yellow and blue makes the green. So we're going to use all of those colors. The brushes are going to be hard brushes. Um, no soft brush today. And for each class, I give handouts. And in the handouts, I go through step by step on how to do the paintings. And by following these easy, simple step by step instructions, you can be painting in no time. So let's show you the first stroke. So the stroke for this is you simply start up and then come down and end up on the tip end of your brush. Start here up and come down, end up on the tip end of the brush as well. And what I've done here is I've just given you different angles to use. Uh, the little bud, uh, I'll show you how to put that in a little bit later. So here is the continuation of what I started last week. Um, let me see if I can zoom out here so we can, oops, that's the wrong one that zoomed in. Let me see if I can't get us a better, deeper view of this. That's about as deep as we're going to get. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the stem in. So when I do this, if I've got the flower or the subject over in this part of the paper, and this part is empty. I want to balance it by putting the stem and putting down through here the stem and everything on this side. So that will that will help. Um, let me see here. So this is what I'm going to want to do. So I've given this as a handout, and we're going to start with the stem first. I'm going to show you how to put this stem in, and this is not going to take as long as the last video that I had to put the, the bird on the flower, do the flower, do the bird first and then the flower. So I'm going to go into a light. I'll put it back on my color here. Oops, that's me. Here we go. Put it back into a little bit of this yellow. I want this to be light, and I have water on all these colors, and this is green from uh, practicing this earlier. So I want this to be a light color, and I can a little bit of the stone green. The stone green kind of gives it a very shiny look. A beautiful color to use. It's made from malachite. So those are my colors. So I'm going to start here and kind of come down to the back side and I hope you can get all this on the, on the view here. So start here. I don't want to put it up in the center there. So from here and all the way down. And you see how it gets lighter as you go down. Now I'm going to change brushes to a large brush. And then what I'm going to do there is I'm trying to figure out how to get this bigger so you can see more. As you can see, I'm new at all of this, but that's okay. It will get there. Okay. Um, so here I'm going to use a smaller, this is a hard brush, and I'm going to make my leaves with this. It's a mid-size. I'm going to go into the yellow again. My light green, medium green, and stone green on the end. 
And I can also add a little bit of black to this. The black will take out that grassy green color and it will give you more of, a, of an olive color. So you want to skip down a little ways. You don't want to put your leaves all the way up on this flower because they, they start down. You've got this beautiful stem in the flower. Makes for a really nice cut flower. So I'm going to start down about, uh, if I measure from the end here all the way down to the bottom of my page, it's about a third. So I'm going to come up and then wide and then come to a point. Now, sometimes these don't end up as wide as I would like them. So what I'm going to go do is go in next to this stroke and push my hand. And I'm going to just make it a little wider. And then I'm going to stop. And what this is right here is flying white. And when you get the flying white, I love it. I don't try to fix it. And in this kind of art, you don't worry about fixing. You learn to follow your mistakes, but you don't, you don't worry about fixing. So that would be my first stroke. And if I use a, a deeper, bigger brush, I wouldn't have to do this as much. Now this one's going to kind of come up right underneath it, almost joining, but I don't want them to join because I don't like the way that looks. And up and then out. And I'm going to keep this one thin because I'm going to pretend that we're looking at that one from the side. Now this one, I want it to come right in front. And one thing you don't want to do is have this leaf and this leaf twins. You don't want them to look the same. It's not a very good look at all. This one's going to come down and in a little bit. Now from here, come out again into this one. Whoops. It's making pointy. And the same thing over here. Uh, this one's just going to get just uh, maybe cross them over, or maybe I'll put a bud there. Never mind. I can change my mind a lot in this stuff. Out. And then again, I'm going to double this one a little bit. To here. There. And this one, I'm going to cross out. And over this one. Oh, sorry, can't say them. And this one. And here. And this one I'm just going to put right in front. Okay. So now you see the little little bud here. So the little buds join where each one of these leaves come. From that, you're going to get the, the bud. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to make this just a little, a little predominant. I'm going to fade it out. I can't see it. Okay, so from for composition-wise, where do you want your little bud to be. I think I'll put him, put him right in this area here. Uh, we'll take your eye up, up to the bird, and he's going to come out of that joint. And then I can do another one from this area and put one right here that's going to be very small. So the way that you do these is I'm going to go into a little darker of the colors and I'm going to make like a little smiley face just to give me an idea of where it's going to go. Now from here I'm going to go into a little bit more yellow, some stone green, a little bit lighter color and go down And you 
can have some that cross over, under, and some short, some long. And then from here, I'm going to give it a center. And then I'm going to get some of that color out of my brush by just wiping my brush on it. Napkin and tissue, and then it's going to go over that so ever so gently. And that's the little bud. You can add a little bit of color to it if you want to. I prefer not to. I want it to. I want the flower to stand out. Now to add one down here. This one's going to be a younger little bud. So I'm going to. Start with a little, tiny little circle. It's going to be, it's going to be small. And then I'm going to, and I'm using the same brush that I used for the leaves. I'm just keeping more on the tip end of this brush. And the same idea, except these are not going to be as long is noticeable. He doesn't get the attention the first one gets. So that's that one. And then again, I'm getting some of the color out. I still want to use the same color, but just not as strong. And sometimes when your brushes get worn out, you get split hairs and everything else on them. They make for nice, rugged a look. That's what you want on your, on your work. And that basically is how you would add your, your um, leaves to your painting of uh, your, uh, uh, your cone flower and your little boat finch. And then I like to add a little bit of a few little happy dots Give it a little attention up here. Um, maybe a few little strokes in and out. And that's that's about all that would get. And if you wanted to give it some veins down the center of your leaf, I start and then just very gently push and stop. And these little guys, you can give them, the little ones you can give leaves or you cannot give leaves. If you need, if you need it, give them a leaf. For composition, give it a leaf. This one right here, I might want to give them a leaf over here. Just a very short little leaf. And maybe one here where it's going to cross under. And little dots and dashes, little happy dots, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for next week's class. Next week's it's going to be little uh, uh, minnows, little tiny fish. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.